In this video, we're going to talk about how to sort data in StatCrunch. This is useful if we want to find the largest value of a variable or the smallest value of a variable. So the variables of a data set are given by the columns of the data set. So you can see we have several variables here. We have name, party, state, money pro, money con, etc. All right, so uh, suppose I want to sort this data set according to the money pro variable. I want to find the largest values or the smallest values of that variable. Well, what I can do, the quick way to do it is to just go over it, hover over that column, and click this little down arrow. When I click that, I can just go down to sort table ascending, in which case it'll start with the lowest values. If I scroll down, I can see they get larger as I go down. Or I can uh, select uh, sort table descending, in which case it's going to start with the largest values, and they get smaller as I go down. And by doing this, I can see, well, you know, I can see that uh, the, um, the person here in this data set that had the largest uh, money pro value was Barbara Boxer. And I can see that the person that had the smallest uh, money pro value was Saxby Chambliss down here with a negative 5,000. So this is useful for finding the largest or smallest values. Now, um, you may not see these little down arrows uh, on the data set if you're using a tablet or something like that. And there is another way to do this. And you can go to data and sort. All right. And you want to make sure that all columns is selected. If you don't have this selected, you'll be selecting which columns of the data set you want to sort. But we want to sort the entire data set. Otherwise, the data will no longer be aligned. So it's very important that you keep this selected all columns here. And you choose the column you want to sort by uh, in this sort by uh, box. So I did the Money Pro, so I'll select Money Pro there. And then you can choose Ascending or Descending. And then when you hit Compute, uh, it will sort the data set in the same way that we had before. So this is how you sort a data set by a variable.